hello guys welcome to the extensive youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you the easiest way to calculate your cgpa in a tertiary institution in nigeria so for each semester you are going to have these five columns to calculate your cgpa so our first column is going to have your courses for the semester so in this particular example i have that 101 i have gst 101 i have physics 101 chem 101 by 101 and religion 101 so the second column is going to have the grades that you have acquired for the semester so for example this young man had an a in statistics had a c in gst had a b in physics have an, had an E in chemistry, had an F in bio, and had a D in religion. So the next column is going to be what I call the grade points. These grade points are peculiar to some institutions. So if you have an A, your grade point is 5. If you have a C, your grade point is 3. If you have a B, your grade point is 4. If you have an E, your grade point is 2. If you have a D, your grade point is 1. While if you have an F, you don't have any grade point at all. It's, it's 0 points. Right. So the next column is going to have your credit unit. This credit unit is peculiar to a particular course so a particular course we have a number of credit units allocated to it to it so for example now our statistics here had a credit unit of two gst had a credit unit of, of three so this is our whole credit unit for the semester right so if you have these five columns it will make this work so easy for you to calculate your cgpa so we have a last column here called the qrp the quality point the quality point column you get the quality point by multiplying your credit unit with your grade point Point. So if you multiply this column with this column, we are going to have our quality point. Why do we need our quality point? We need our quality point because the formula for CGPA is the summation of quality points all over summation of your whole credit unit for that particular semester. So let's solve, guys. Five times two is ten. Three times three is nine. Four times two is eight. Two times three is six. Zero times two is zero. One times three is three. So we are going to sum the whole of of quality points and also sum the whole of your credit unit for the semester if i add up all this i'm going to have i'm going to have 36 as my whole summation of the quality points so in this column now if i'm if i'm add up the whole credit unit, credit unit i'm going to get a total of 15 credit units this for our first semester in year one nice so for me to have the cgpa for this first semester i'm going to divide my whole quality points to total credit unit so this is now equals to to, to total quality point is 30 36 all over total credit units is 15 that's summation of qrp all over summation of credit units that's 36 over 15 so our answer is going to be 2.4 so 2.4 is your cgpa for first semester in year one this is a practical example because it's going to help us to calculate for other years and to now get your cumulative for your whole stay in the university nice so this is for first semester like i told you earlier so what if you now want to have your cgpa for your year one how do you calculate that you are going to add up your total quality points for first semester and second semester and you divide it by the total cumulative unit load for first semester plus also the total cumulative unit for your second semester so for year one our cgpa is equals to So for you to get the CGPA for year one, you are going to add up the whole total quality points for first semester and second semester, and you divide it by the total credit units for first semester and second semester. Nice. So for example, for first semester, our total quality points, the of total quality points was 36. So assuming in second semester, our total quality points was 38. All over, our total credit, credit unit for first semester was 15. So assuming here, we got 14. So we're going to add up and divide. So that is plus 38 is 74 all over 15 plus 14 is 29 so our cgpa for year one is now equals to 74 over 29 which will give us 2.551 so this is your cgpa for year one nice so what if you are studying a four-year course and you want to ascertain your cgpa for this four years duration in school i'm going to show you how to calculate that also so like i told you earlier i'm supposed to have these five columns 
rooms for each semester in the university. This will help you to know your total quality points for each year and total quality units for each year. So in year one, year two, year three, and year four. This, this is an example for someone that is studying a four-year course. So you're going to have two major columns. A column for quality points and a column for credit units. So when you have calculated your quality points for first and second semester in year one, you are going to add up the whole quality point and, add, and write it here. So in a year one, our quality point was 74. Our total credit, credit unit was 29. So for example, in year two, our quality point was 84 and our total credit unit for, for year two was 25. In year three, our total quality point was 86 and our total credit unit was 22. In year four, that's your final year, our total quality point was 71 our total credit unit was 27. So we're going to add up these whole numbers here. So the summation of our quality point will give us 315. While the summation of our credit unit for the whole four years will give us 103. So our CGPA for these four years of stay in the university is going to be summation of your whole quality point for the four years all over summation of your whole credit unit for the four years which we have here already so we're going to have 315 all over 103 so 315 divided by 103 is going to give us 3.058 so this is going to be your cgpa for the four years of stay in the university so if you come to the nigerian university system you have two basic grading system you have the five point system and have the seven point system for the five point system is the most popular system so this five point system will categorize your cgpa into five different categories so we have first class division we have second class upper division we have second class lower division and we have third class division and lastly we have the fail division we have one two three four five the most the popular grading system so this first class is from 5.0 to 4.5 so once you have calculated your cgpa and you find your cgpa to be within this range you are a first class student then second class upper is from 4.49 to 3.5 second class lower is from 3.49 to 2.5 why third class is from 2.49 to 1.5 then fell is now from 1.5 to 0 0.0 nice so once you have done your cgpa calculation you can be able to categorize which division that you fall into so guys that's how this is how to calculate your cgpa in your nigerian tertiary institution if you have any confusion or, uh, or any question of any type let me know in the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as possible please make sure to like this video subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification button on for now bye bye